Hey everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul, and we're going to be going ahead and finishing up some missions on the regular playthrough. Uh, as you can see, we're back on our planet near the settlement. Uh, let me just get a quick run through of what we got here. Now this Atlas path, you can see it actually changes a little bit, and I forgot about this, so I kind of misled a little bit, so I apologize. We have to recover Atlas Seeds. It's a second run through of the Atlas path, but allows us to get a second main item into our inventory. So we'll be taking a look at that. Um, in regards to the main things that we have going on here, we have the Settlers, which is still something you will always be working on as a secondary mission, will always remain in secondary missions, as well as the base computer archives, which will always remain there even once you get to the 99th percentile. Otherwise, everything keeps going. So we're going to go back to doing the Atlas Path, but while we're here, we're going to go ahead and quickly jump over here to this building, and we have to complete the roof, so we need two solar mirrors. Not even sure if we have the ability to build those. Let's take a look real quick. Yes, we do. Which we need gold, silver, and chromatic metal, which hopefully we have enough to build two. We do. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we're going to supply those. So in exactly, it should be, I think, two hours. Yep, in two hours, this main building will be completed. And we'll be done with that. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to turn off... Uh, our little droid companion here, the Sentinel Flare, just because I don't really feel like listening to it, to be honest with you. And then we're going to go ahead and get things done. Now, you'll notice if you look in the distance, you're going to see that there's Sentinels appearing on the top of my scope up here. That usually means your village is under attack. So let's take a quick look. Yeah, that's what I thought. So glad I got my weapons up and running. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. And there should be a few of them floating around here. Oop, there you are. There we go. Should be one more, I think. Oh, two more, it looks like. One... And two. No? Okay, and that's just a regular Sentinel. He's not actually a fighter, so... I think we're clear. Alright. Now, as always, when you're in your settlement, you do want to check to see if there's any missions going on. So, let's get into our building if we can find the entrance. And just make sure there's not something we should be doing. Now we got a citizen dispute, so let's go ahead and take care of that. <coughs> now these are kind of odd. So see, if I find the liquidator, we lower our debt for the um, area a little bit. So you can see it says, Guard Bakir accuses liquidator warring of theft. The missing item is a portable reactor. It is noted that the accused has a record of unprovoked violent outbursts. So this guy on the right has a history of just basically having violent outbursts. The guy on the left is accusing him of theft. So if we set him free, it has an unknown outcome. It could be a positive or negative outcome. 90% of the time what happens is you get a sense of foreboding inside the village, inside the settlement. Um, usually it's because people lose trust with one each other, with one another, if we don't take care of this right. So we're actually going to go ahead and go with the fine because we can't really afford to have any more problems within the village. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Come on. There you go. He's gone. So our settlement debt is reduced, but as you can see, when we check our settlement status, we're pretty far in debt. We've got 1.2 million in debt, and it's just climbing like crazy because our productivity is not high enough to equal the maintenance costs. So, slowly over time, it'll get better. Don't worry, it always does. Alright, so we're done here. Let's go on to... Wrong. Let's go on to... Take care of this Atlas path real quick. So, let's see if we can get this done during this whole run-through. Mission targets in another system. Oh, okay. Well, we can actually... It says here we can take the teleporter. Let's take a look. And it should say, current system, previous system, your settlement, 
keep an eye close atlas interface so this looks like we're where we're going to go it has the atlas interface there let me just make sure there's no other systems nope that's it so that must be the one wants us to go here let's head out so we're going to head over there right now we're going to try to keep this episode to, to about an hour or so and I might have to keep muting my microphone to clear my throat after being sick so long. And keep hydrated. Alright. So we're here. Oop. There we go. Let's head over to our ship and take a run out. we got to speak with the Atlas. It should be nearby the space station. Looks like the entrance is on the other side. That looks like the entrance we're looking for. Um, that's weird. I thought we were there. Okay. I like slamming into the side of the building. Now, of course, we'll go through at least the first one. Possibly another one, and then I'll just have you pop in every now and then to keep an eye on how many interfaces we hit along the way. Now, it doesn't look like this place has any of those little uh, uh, balls on the floor that we can get more words from, so I think we're going to have to skip it this time. Yeah, I don't see anything. So let's go ahead and just head straight up. There goes that weird distortion field. Even the character looks like he's kind of phasing in and out a little bit. We get no special items from here, so let's just head straight in and see what's going on. You know, the odd part is this looks exactly like... Let's go ahead and do this. Let's just see what happens. <clears throat> Alright, this is going to take a couple moments as we have to activate each one of these as it takes a couple moments to activate. Okay. Good time for a picture, I think, as we get some of these activated. Love the particle effects here. It's pretty good stuff. Interesting. takes care of all of them. What do you think? Nice place for a picture? Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot, shall we? At least get it lined up so it's a little bit more precise. It looks like we've got our thumbnail for the video. That's a good picture. Alrighty. Let's get the last one. Heart of the Sun Required. I thought we had that on us. Okay, so we have the Star Seed and the Remembrance. So what would happen here is if we did this, it would enable us to create a new galaxy yet again. So we're going to hold off on this. So basically, it's given us this Atlas Seed thing again. I 
Well, I'm not sure that's something we actually want to do at this point in time. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off on this right now. I know that seems like a, you know, oh well. But it looks like this is just another reason to continue with the Atlas Seed if you want to go to yet another galaxy. The thing is, I'm doing this in the Euclid galaxy. So I believe the next galaxy it would send me to is back to Eisenton, which I've already been to. So not sure if that's such a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and go back over here. It looks like we've just about got all of our secondary missions complete, except for our settlement. All right, we're out of the Atlas. Let's head for the space station for the time being. Until we figure out what we're going to do. Did it again. Wow, that's really, really weird. Did that to me twice this time. Pardon me. All right. So I think I'm going to try something just a little bit different. Let's go back to the log here. Let's take a quick peek at just this real fast, because I want to see what it tells me to do here. And you know, there is one thing we have yet to do. And it mentioned it at the bottom of the screen there for just a moment. Derelict freighters. We have not done that yet. So let's go back to our base computer archives real fast. Don't we have another... Here, here's our main base. Let's head here. So I think we'll do that. We're going to go ahead and raid a derelict freighter. As basically, I think this is going to turn out to be our last episode of the regular playthrough. So when we talk regular playthrough, we're basically talking about going through the playthrough in regular mode. Our next one I think we're going to do is I may, I may skip over survival and go straight to hardcore. And we'll do a hardcore run through. It'll be kind of permadeath. But I won't go all maxed out on the settings like I do on my no starter ship challenges. All right. Where's our computer archives? Let's head over there. And it should give us the same message as before. Archive for user unavailable. Possible remote terminus backup available. Download coordinates. So we're going to do the coordinates one more time. Before we leave, I want to check our inventory. I don't know why you're there. We probably want to dump some of the stuff out of our inventory. I think that would probably be a smart move. So the one thing I don't see our inventory is any way to find a derelict freighter. I have a way of doing that too. Pardon me. So let's That's not working the way I expected. Hold on. No, I'm not going to the reactor. Cut that out. Sorry, I know this is weird, but I want to be able to just drop these in the inventory over here and we should just be able to Oh, quick transfer, of course. I don't know why I couldn't remember that for some reason. Uh, we don't need these on us. I'm going to keep a walker brain on us just in case. Uh, those, those, we'll keep that, 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 and that. Uh, I'll keep some wiring looms on me. We don't need the crystal sulfides. Or, I don't know. I'll keep the Exocraft summoning station on me. We don't need any more dite. Cobalt's not a bad thing to keep on our inventory. We don't need those. We don't need those. Silver, don't really need it. I'll keep some of the food on me. We don't need salt. Pugnium, I will hang on to for now. Cytophosphate, we don't need selenium. Okay. 
Uh, do we have any items in the cargo container that we use on ourselves? I don't really see anything of necessity. Okay, put you down here. Okay, I think we're all set. Now I want to check my starship real quick. Um, okay, let me clean up this inventory for just a second, folks. I'll be right back with you. Okay, and we're back with you. So, let's head over to this computer place. Check out the next terminal real quick, just to make sure that I think, if I remember correctly, it's basically the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, let's see. Computer archives are up here again. Let's head over there. And after that, I'm going to show you how to get a derelict freighter. And I'll show you a trick so you don't have to keep... So you don't have to get one for free. You can get one of those uh, derelict freighter finders, if you will, for free. You can get one once a week. Ugh, you got to be kidding me. All right. Battle detected, sure enough. All right. Where do they go? Hey, there you are. Great. I think I hit that ship, so... There's two. Interceptors must have hit that one freighter. So I'm gonna have to watch my. Okay, two down. Yeah, those guys. Let's get out of here. Okay, where is the space station? We're not going to get those guys off of our butts until we get to the space station, so we're going to have to head there. There you go. Alright. Anything on our inventory? Yeah, that's nice. Base beam module. Yeah, like we really need that. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go find the space computer module that they want us to find. Alright. That should take care of that. Hmm. I'm a legend, apparently. Yay. Okay, so, where to? Over this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get off the screen now. Interesting. Alright. Wow, really beat 80 ships at this point? Incredible. Now you see it's talking about derelict freighters at the top left, so yeah, that's interesting. So again, we're going to check out this computer archive real quick. Let's see what's going on with it. for ah probably it no landing pad right where's the door doors over here all right and here we go so we go ahead and go through this I've reached the location marked by my base computer, the remote 
archive terminus hums awaiting my input. Access memory. Attempting to read memory at that particular location. Did it know what I had done to it? Was it angry? Upset? Alone? Afraid? Could a sentinel feel such things? It hovered before me. It's like catching upon a thousand crystal shards all around. And as I moved on, it traveled by my side. That night I jumped to the warp cage, but there, had, there was no more pain within. The drone looked at me. I knew that I had been forgiven. I had fixed it. I had answered for my sin. I shall call it Laylaps. Search the physical cache. I search the physical cache attached to the terminal. Whoever recorded this message also left a piece of technology. It doesn't stop telling me it's an extreme hazard planet. I'm going to smack somebody. Okay, so we got six more hours before we can actually do it. Yes, I know it's a hazard. Mm. Okay, chill. It's okay. We'll be all right. All right, let's get some things along the way, as we usually will. It's probably a bad thing over here. We'll take a look. Yeah, let's turn on a light. Yep, nothing here. Okay. I don't need to fix my shield. Don't have any atlas passes to open that. At least I don't think I do, do I? No? Can I build one yet? I think I can build them. Hold on. There's Atlas Pass 3. What do we need? A microprocessor. We've already got the emerald. Let's build a microprocessor. We don't have one, so what we want to do is build that. Then we can build the microprocessor. And now we can build the Atlas Pass. And we're going to take that and put it in the exosuit inventory. That is something you want to kind of carry around on your person. And now we can open these. See, that time we got navigation data, but it is pretty cool to have that because you can pick up some really interesting stuff from those bins once in a while. Okay, there we go. So we cleared out this place. We could collect eggs. Not in the mood. Not going to do it. Okay, so we've done with that. So you see, in six more hours, I can collect something new. But we've also going through the laylapse line, so I probably want to do that again on my uh, main save because laylapse is one of those things... One of those uh, titles I have yet to get on my main character, so I'm going to work on that. In the meantime, back out to space, Robin. Let's pull in the anomaly. It was nearby anyway. So here's how you get your free derelict, derelict freighter. Derelict, blah, blah, blah. Let's try that in English. Derelict freighter. Finding device. And like I said, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to keep that one finding device and never having to use it again. Never having to get another one, never have to buy another one. I do recommend grab a free one every now and then just to build up an inventory of a few of them if you need them. No reason otherwise. <clears throat> so. so we always go to Iteration Helios and speak to him. Ah, young one, who you who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality is long past, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share some of the things you've seen. I yearn for the stories of glory discovery. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's give some data. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. You don't get many. Normally you don't get many. Give me 400 of them. Now, if I talk to him again, I think... Still wonder out to discover. Perhaps we make sure we can ask about their past. But normally he'll give you one of the derelict freighter um, finding units. He's not giving it to us this time. Turn off my light. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more nanites over here while I'm at it. So just so we can have them. Always go to Ares when you get a chance, especially if you've been traveling around. And we're going to transmit milestone data. And he usually gives us more, but not this time. We've been hitting him a few times. So I didn't get the free unit. You get it from this guy once a week. But I didn't get it this time, so I'm not going to be too concerned about it. I've got money on me. I've got $35 million in, in cash. So let's go to the space station instead. I could have taken the, the teleport. Ah, it's alright. And it spits me out. 
Space station is this way. Right there. Yeah, it takes 20 seconds to get there. So the second way to get it is you get it at the space station from the scrap dealer. And again, you only need the one. So if you have to buy one, you're going to see how much they cost. And if you have to buy a second one, or a third one, or a fourth one, or a fifth one, they get significantly more expensive every single time you buy one. Oh, boy. Wow. Catching me like they used to. They used to grab onto you and suck you right in and up. Like that, but not lately. I don't know what's going on. Okay, here we go. So there's our scrap dealer over here, right? So we're going to talk to this guy. Don't upset him. So don't ask him what they're selling. He'll brush you away. You don't want to do that. So we're going to acquire coordinates. So let's go ahead and grab it. It's 5 million units. There we go. Now, if I want to buy something, just so you have an idea, like I go purchase old scrap. See, it went up to 10 million units, by the way. We want to purchase old scrap. The only way we can purchase it is with tainted metal. Okay, now I purchased these things on another um, save. So I have them available to me that I can buy them now. Uh, and they're just decorations and stuff like that if you want to get those. But they'll always be available on other saves. But these things will always cost you tainted metal, which you get from derelict freighters. Oh, wow, look at that one, huh? You know I gotta ask. C-Class, nothing special. It's kind of a nice looking ship, though. But, not gonna take him up on it. I've got my uh, nice little ship over here. Uh, which is an A-Class, so that's kind of nice. So let's go find this derelict freighter. I see. We're 30 minutes, not quite 30 minutes in, so let's go ahead and see what it takes. So what you do, go out in space here, get past all the flotsam and jetsam, and including these stinking little freighters everywhere, and you go into your inventory, and you've noticed you'll have this new emergency signal scanner. Don't put it in your inventory with your ship. Keep it here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse drive, so you want to get into pulse drive mode, immediately switch over, to your exosuit and select it. Just hit the E button and you'll see at the bottom right corner it's scanning channels. As soon as it says it finds find something, pull out. And there's your derelict freighter. Now, first thing you want to do before you land on this freighter, go back to your exosuit, take this unit and you're going to stick it in this inventory. You're going to put it into your refiner. Obviously you can't do anything just leave it there. It does two things. Number one, it frees up an inventory spot because you're going to need all this inventory. Trust me when I tell you, you'll need it. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff down. Just to make room for everything else. And these two things were selling, so I'm going to leave them there. And okay, we're all set. Let's head for the freighter, and you'll notice that it has four little landing pads at the top. Now, one of the things you really could use on this, which would be very handy, is some cold protection. Like, I've got one here. It's at 95% right now, and i got some dioxide to recharge it with. You're going to need it. Why? Because you're in the cold of space. Really? What I get hit by? Unbelievable. As you're going in, you're going to see these blue capsules. Some give you oxygen. See? Just grab them as you go. Some give you sodium for recharging purposes. If you didn't have shield, that is, like I did. So go ahead and grab them. It's just stuff you can put in your inventory. You get up here. Open the door. Now you notice you're still cold, right? That's very important to do that. When you get here, come up to this unit and make sure it's open. Okay? It is activated. You're all set there. You also have you know, floating stuff all over the place. But you do have heating units too. You want to activate those. And you'll notice that immediately my shield on the left, bottom left is no longer dropping. 
as long as I stay within proximity. If I move just a little bit further away, see, claim the supplies. Anytime you run across one of these cases, take everything out of it. You get a good amount of supplies out of it and some good stuff that you could always use. Okay? And we're going to go to the docking bay control. So it tells us, SS Bay, Bay and Hammer status, severe incident. Total lockdown. Access denied. No crew life signs detected. Crew manifest and captain's log may assist in incident diagnosis. Cargo integrity 95%. Salvage and recovery like likely. Access doors have been automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. Manual restart required to begin recovery. Restart internal gravity. Warning. Gravity calibration error. Freedom of movement reduced. Internal environmental protection is offline. Attempt manual generator restart. Restart hazard control. Restart error. Unable to restore primary heat control. Protection against extreme cold temperatures required. Emergency fabrication unit available. Access supply cache. Yes, collect the emergency supplies. You get stuff out of them. Uh, so supply cache consumed. Air additional supplies can be collected within the airlock. <clears throat> Pardon me. Manual controls finalized. Begin door seal override procedure. Unseal the door. Okay. I'm gonna collect that. You know, notice at the bottom it says that the seal integrity is going down. You got some bunch, a bunch of life support shells. You got a couple of ion batteries. And that's what you get. Now, my suggestion is keep that gun armed at all times. Okay? You're going to need it. Make sure your flashlight is on. If it's not auto on, that is. And as you walk in, take your time. It tells you that everything can be, you can calculate all the stuff you can collect. You got to locate the terminals to collect everything. You can collect data from terminals to find out what happened to the crew. And use your scanner to highlight loot within the current room. Claim highly valuable technology from the engineering core which you do get some very good stuff out of this. So these derelict freighters are really worth it if you can do it. So you'll run across these cases. Ammunition. Looks like we got more ammunition. It kind of just doubled on us. Check the upper shelves too. They'll be there as well. You've got anything that looks blue. Blue lockers. Got a Gek Relic. And Tainted Metal. And that's what you're really looking for, Tainted Metal. Always take a look around for anything that could be in the air, floating around, trying to attack you. And here we have a log. Expedition Event Fogos. Date, stamp 1769.8. Traded goods between planets in the Giaka Spur system. Profit margin 178%. Looks like nothing special, right? Date, stamp 1820.4. Purchased cheap goods during surplus in Okada Net. Uh, Okana Abnum sold at a profit of 189% at Ulier. Okay. Date stamp 1811. Purchased large value unstable plasma. Instability escalated. Plasma exploded in hold. Hull breach. So now you know what happened. They had a hull breach. That's what stopped them. Now you see these unstable canisters. You can open the other ones, like this one over here. We can open that. But this one we can't open. We have to shoot it. So let me show you what happens when you shoot it. I'm going to back up a little bit. See, it explodes. And you notice I didn't get anything out of it. So really not worth shooting those. Just kind of leave them alone, because if you're close by and you shoot it, it's going to hurt you. Here we have another case. We got a storm crystal out of it. Very valuable. We also have these briefcases, which normally you get credits. See? A few thousand, sometimes a lot more. Another heating unit. Go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to do some searching. And, of course, my cat has decided to join me at my desk. Let's open up this one. Oh, we got tainted metal out of that one this time. We've got some canisters. Another unit over here. It doesn't look like we've really found anything that's going to attack us just yet. Larval cores. Got some oxygen in there. Let's go ahead and take that. So now if I do a C, watch what happens here. Just a second. Sorry, buddy. We do a scan. You see the canisters will highlight, including the open ones. Okay? But at least you know where the canisters are so you can get them. Okay, we've got a neural duct. That's a few, six of those, it looks like, as well as... Okay, we've got all neural ducts. Just to give you an idea, see, there were 300,000 units for just those six. See how much money we've already made? 
So is it worth it? I'd say. This isn't really worth much. So if you're running out of room, get rid of the Gek Relics. Uh, I'm going to keep this guy. And these guys are going to sell. Repair kits are handy when you don't have enough supplies to repair something. So if you want to hang on to repair kits, by all means, knock yourself out. Storm crystals are useful for your starship. You know this. I'm not going to share any more information on that with you. So do what you can. And you'll notice we got all these canisters. We've opened them. we got a canister. Hear the weird noises? Yeah. Yeah, weird stuff going on. we got two doors here. Let's open up this one first. You notice at the right, it's going to tell you how many doors you have. Now, this leads down into the bowels of the ship. And you notice my... my, my uh, yeah, this is dropping. So I'm going to go ahead and increase it. Don't go to the other area of the ship. This leads to a separate little room. So let's check it out real quick. There's almost always going to be some things you can scavenge. Oh, nice. Hallucinogenic leaves, huh? Cool. Another heating unit. You don't have to light up all the heating units if you don't want to. And this leads into this room, which leads into this room. And again, I'm not seeing anything yet. Nothing to attack us, so we seem to be in good shape. More units. More tainted metal. Nanites. Got a good bunch of nanites out of that. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Always check the walls, too, because you never know. All right, we're going to run back. You notice we're moving really slow. I'm trying to jump and use my jetpack. You can't use that here, okay? So let's go to the other room, the other door that we opened. I think that's over here. There it is. And we're going to go downstairs. And you can go down the ladder if you want. It'll probably automatically have me using the ladder. See? And we got some, we got our few first few floaters. Shoot them. Because they will come after you and they will try to attack you. These don't hurt much. But I'm not seeing anything else in this place. So I think we got lucky. Usually there's a bug infestation and stuff like that. There we go. Let's clear out this room first. We'll hit that room over there in a moment. Can't believe there's nothing in here. Now, we do want to check out any log snippets we run across. So, if you run into any more logs that are laying around, and I don't mean, like, you know, pieces of wood here, folks. We're talking about the little tablets that tell us what happened. We're going to keep going through and opening all these units up. Just taking what they've got. Again, I'm not seeing anything. I'll go through that door in a minute. I want to go down that hallway over there that we were just looking at. Very odd. Yeah, that's always the creepiest thing, seeing helmets floating around. Okay. More ammunition. Another door. It's very odd. I don't think I've ever been in a um, freighter that looked like this before. This is new for me. Pretty cool. Let's go through here. Just see what's over here. All right, that's interesting. Well, then what's over there? Let's come back to this in a second. Let's go through that other door. Because maybe it's just a small room. Because once you go down these long hallways, it's usually leading into the bowels of the ship further. This might be private quarters. Okay. Yep, and you notice we get another room found at this point. And another door. Wow, this is the weirdest looking... Ship. Okay. Check out our log. Research log entry follows. Recovered primitive container from Moon. Uh, Sono Omega. Perform matrix analysis. Observe a sample shows commercially exploitable properties earmarked. Let's leave. And here we get a security credential from security officer. Uh, no, I'm not going to pronounce that. Uh, so this is a good pass to use. We need this. So now it's our inventory. We're going we're gonna to hang on to it. Let's gather some supplies. Now, we can read the rest of these logs if you want. We can depressurize this capsule and get stuff out of it. Let me show you what happens. You see, you get some living slime out of it. Do you really want it? It's up to you. Uh, shipping log recovered. Internal memory encrypted. Decrypting output follows. Probe report from first officer. Relative movement levels high. Computer computational ability average. So, see, this is a first officer, and it's a report on their abilities. Two scan detected for move log. Wow, that's weird. Never seen that before. But we get nanites out of it, so it's, it's worth checking out. 
Doesn't seem to be anything else over here. Let's go ahead and open up the canister, get more tainted metal. And where does this door lead? So I guess we're going in two different directions. All right, this goes down into the deeper bowels. All right, so we haven't finished searching this top area of the ship. We're going to go back over this way. Looks like my weatherproofing is over. And I think we've already gotten all these, right? Is there a door? Where's that door at? There it is. That's the one we came through. This is the other one we needed to go through. So let's head this way. And in case you're wondering about a map, I have never found a map. So I'm going to keep going. We're in another room. So you see, zones mapped 5 of 11. Okay. That's what we got. Take more stuff. Another log. Uh, so this is for a guard. Captain's orders, but I don't understand. Turn on us out of nowhere. I can hear them. I can hear the... Okay, that's just kind of creeping you out now, right? What did he hear? All right. Moving on. Okay, this is private quarters. Okay, I didn't see that from afar. Got a heating unit hanging from the ceiling. Another snippet. Uh, research entry. Recovered ice core. Performed odor detection analysis. Interesting. So they had, they had pulled an ice sample from somewhere. And the music's changing now, right? So it's starting to indicate that something has happened to this crew, and you're starting to learn more and more data about them. Kind of gets a little creepy, doesn't it? All right, let's go down this ladder, see what's next. Whee! Okay, there's nothing ever in the ladder room, so just go ahead and proceed on. Another snippet. We may not hit all of these, but I'm going to try to hit as much as possible. Uh, comrade, uh, warp drive maintenance. Personal log con locker contains a restock of place, gas canister, various images. Uh, so four days ago. Detailed scan reveals a non sentient life form is resident within the locker. Interesting. A robot, maybe? Okay. Walk slowly in, take a look around, just in case there's anything around here. Hi there. Goodbye there. There we go. We've got a lot of lockers and stuff in here, but you're looking for these big terminals here. Do not turn this one on until the end. Okay? If you turn this one on, it'll go back and forth between here and the front dock. So you can go back to your ship and drop stuff off. But it becomes the active terminal. So when you get to a further terminal and activate it, that will be the terminal that you will be going back to instead. And you don't want to do that just yet. So, activate the records. Okay, everything is encrypted. This is a bio record security. Uh, bio security records, pardon me. Yeah, it's backwards. We're going to access the crew manifest. Commanding officer, the duty officers, 77 crew, 34 were incapacitated, quarantined, tourist, company official, update the bio scan. Scanning ship. No detectable biological trace matches crew wrecks. Whoa. Retrieving last known crew positions. And it tells you where everybody is. Including redacted area. Including a research lab. There was one guy out there just a day before. So now you have the crew manifest. All 111 other hands. Including those guys. Highly valuable as it says. So let's check to see if there's anything in this room. Nothing here. Uh, I always like to check the outside records, but I'm going to go ahead and grab these things. So even the ones that are laying down, you can open. Got some Geknip. Okay, unstable plasma. Okay, run right after the other. Putting some units. Did we get this one yet? I think we did. Okay. Okay, this side. All right, we already got... Nope, we didn't get this one. We got that one. Okay. So these are all gotten. Grab some oxygen. We're going to keep grabbing stuff. All right. I'll have to check out all these doors in a minute. It is pretty neat the way that stuff just bounces away. 
Oh, log snippet. What do we got? Uh, maintenance crew found toxic sample in the cargo bay. Extensive containment testing. Observation. Immediate combustion aborted experiment. Interesting. Must be one of the ones that I found. Hey, uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Come on, cut it out. All right. Okay. Like I said, try to grab everything if you can. Chair floating around. How neat. Doesn't look like we have anything else to grab out of here. We got multiple doors. We got a door over here on the right, door on the left. I'm going to head to the left to begin with. Just to see what we got. Okay. Or those green floaty guys. Nothing here. So this is a relatively tame ship. Log snippet. Captain's eyes. Uh, leadership potential. Okay, now it's, uh, it's basically another guy. Remaining lifespan, eh, 25.3 years. Addendum. He died. Borrows heavily from messmates. Danger brewing. Interesting. Weird noises in the ship. They always like to creep you out, man. Okay. Charge that. Let's go over here. There we go. One of those shots would hit him. Earl ducked. Okay, we could have went through that way. Let's get this other heating unit going. Wow, this is... Whoa, don't shoot that while I'm standing next to it. That could have been a problem. It's a pretty ludicrous ship, though. A lot of stuff in it. Did I open that already? Yeah, it looks like I did. Alright, and there's another stairwell leading down, so we'll have to come back this way. Okay. Lots of stuff. Nice. Alright, so how did we do? So far. Seems like we got some good amount of stuff here. Pull that down here. Here's the crew manifest. You'll be selling that separately. I don't really care about the living slime. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, this one's worth 747000 So we got some good, well-priced stuff here. Um, let's head down this hallway. We know we have our uh, stairwell to lead down later. What does this say? Research entry. Collected ancient bones. Performed carbon dating. Sample initially unresponsive. Situation evolving. See additional reports. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Uh, this looks like just a storage area. Like the other one. So you can do a little bit of running, but not much else. You have to put your gun away to do so. Alright, and didn't we have another door we could open? Let's just take a quick peek around. Yeah, there was a door over here. Where's that door? It was over here. Here we go. Hmm. So we're going to come through here, and we're going to head straight to the right. That's where we'll head. Okay, so I guess we should open this first. No, I don't want to sit in the chair. You always get me with the chair. I don't know why. All right, nothing else in here. Let's head this way. This might run a little bit over, but I don't think we're going to be over too far today. All right, so we're looking for the stairwell down. There it is. Okay. And if you pull back a little bit as you go down, you won't hit the ladder. Okay. Take a look. Can't believe we haven't even found any bug sacks or anything like that. It's crazy. Okay. Focon County. So you get some nice C upgrades on occasion. Don't usually get too many others. Okay. A lot of these green things everywhere, man. I don't know what's going on. It's really weird. Oh, come on. I'm not that bad of a shot. Oh, looks like we do have a unit over there that's going to attack us, so we'll keep our eyes peeled. Let's go ahead and look for stuff. Shall we? Nope. 
There we go. Log. Uh, biosecurity. Personal locker contains last access. Okay. And collection of unidentified matter. That's weird. Okay. And usually, unusually high temperature in the locker. True foot locker. Oh, okay, we learned a part. Okay, that's good. So that's something we can build on our own base. So that's another thing you learn on these derelict freighters. You can get building components. Wow, there is a lot of stuff to collect here. Precious coins. How nice. There's a door. Look at all the cargo in this place. I thought I heard something. Okay, recharge. Check the snippet. Uh, data stamp. Confined to brig for arson. Indefinite detention. Okay. Even that guy died. That should be scary. Where's that spinning thing we saw? I think it's over there. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Okay. Hypnotic eyes. Very nice. All right. Oh, it's one of the terminals. Okay, that's what I saw spinning in the distance. Okay, let's check out the terminal. Mainframe, access denied. Captain's DNA required to access personal log. Just when you think it's a problem, it realizes that the captain's not around. I always tell them that he's deceased. Input accepted. Log will record. Captain's fate is extinguished. Duty officer may take command. Authenticate as duty officer to continue secu security. Okay, so you remember that security credential we got. Security officer. We're going to log in as that. Credentials accepted. So, last entry. Let's read the captain's log. Captain's log. Date stamp 2286.5. We were promised battle. We were promised vengeance. But all we found were quivering survivors. Heretics all. Grah. What sport can there be in such an act? Date stamp 2291.8. Another skirmish. Still the machines follow. Rah! How I wish we could fight with their strength. Their might. Herc preserve us. Date stamp 2304.6. We have obtained a working sentinel vessel. Its core systems damaged. Its weaponry intact. Grah! No more will we run and hide from mere machines. I have ordered the crew to integrate our discovery into our own freighters components. Date stamp 2314.3. The Sentinels leave us alone now. They even aid us, as if we were one of their own. I must tell the fleet of this discovery. I must tell them of our victory. That is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Let's gather up all the rest of the resources here. Very interesting. I didn't, again, I didn't know that you could do that. So, I wonder... I mean, we do it, I guess, if you think about it. Alright, we gathered up everything from over here, I think. Ready? Yeah, I think we already got these guys. Nope, we didn't. Okay, this one. Getting a lot of loot here. Alright, that door we haven't been through. Let's check out this door here. I think there was one on the other side, wasn't there? You were paying attention, weren't you? Don't worry, you don't have to answer. Okay, yeah, there was a bit. Alright, this looks like a pretty decent room to gather some stuff in. Alright. So how much of that tainted metal we got? Got almost 600 of it. That's pretty good. Alright. Let's head out. So there was a door down this way, I believe. Wow, I missed one? Good grief. Well, there are a lot of them, I guess. Next door. One of those green guys. Okay, this is the 11th room, as you can see at the bottom right. 11 of 11 mapped. So we're literally in the last room here. This is the main cargo area. So, before we actually go through that real quick, let's gain, let's gather all the things we've got in here. 
Because this is it. I spun the chair again. Usually you get some pretty decent things down here. Okay, heaters. I'll go and turn them on. Ah, floating glove. Fascinating. Okay, more neural ducts. Uh, learn to build a floral canister. How nice. Uh, one more log over here. Uh, date stamp. To cultivate a good relation. To cultivate a good relation with the Corvax. Current pre preferential trade deal. Purchase goods, demand low, sold at a small loss. Uh, held freighter, attempted to negotiate purchase supplies, turns to stage across great offense to freighter captain to open fire, hold damage during retreat. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm not going to depressurize that again. I don't feel like getting more living slime. Hmm. We learned heavy duty furniture. Expedition event. Arrived dock, station contact, 8,400 tons of minerals. Uh, arrived after the harvest, desalination plan, vested, but business was a scam. Substantial losses. Uh, hail freighter, error, hull damage, yet again. Okay. These guys suck at negotiation, apparently. More units, more units, more units. Tainted metal. Okay. Looks like we got all the stuff out of here, I guess. Let me just make sure I got everything. Okay, so something over here I missed. Nope. Looks like we got everything. So, what do we get that's ludicrous? Let's check over here and I'll take show you this. Alright. Engineering control panel accessed. Generator failure detected. Fabricators on emergency power. Construct component. Now we can construct one thing. We can either extract nanites, which you get a good amount. You'll be get get a few hundred of them. You can fabricate a technology upgrade, which, to be honest with you, is not really worth it. Okay? Might be a C-class. Occasionally, you'll get a B-class, even rarer A-class. And don't even bother thinking about getting S. But a freighter bulkhead, you need those. Because the freighter that you might have, even if it's an S-class, it hasn't been upgraded fully. You don't have enough uh, cargo space. That's what the bulkhead is for. It gets you more cargo space. So let's go ahead and take one of those. There we go. And that's the only thing you can get out of this. You get your cargo bulkhead. Alright, so we're all set there. We can't access this again. It'll tell you it's out of power, so I'll just show you that. See? Nothing to be gained. You're done. So now you got everything. So you're all set. So you can use this teleporter to get back to where you started. So you're all set. And that's it. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, the derelict freighter. And once you get out this door, you're back to normal speed. So what do you do? What we do is we head out of here. There's really nothing to be found over here. You'll see several more, some more of these capsules laying around the deck that you can gather. Might be a couple over there. There's never really any um, cabinets or anything to access up here. So it's not really worth wandering around up on top over here. It is a pretty cool view, though, isn't it? You can see the entire area with us. It's pretty neat. Alright, so what are we going to do? Once you take off, you notice that the space station is not showing on your radar. you got to get a little ways away, and it should pop into existence. There it is. And that's where you want to head. Now, I've never been attacked after leaving a derelict freighter, but I always head straight to the space station. So you get space in a stair... They're actually going to scan it, and they're going to find the Geknip, because it's illegal cargo. But we are so close. Oh, they missed it. Son of a gun. Yeah, they missed it this time around. We got lucky. Even so, we were here before they would have gotten anywhere near us, so... Let's get to the space station. So you have two ways you can sell. You know those crew manifest and the captain's manifest that you can sell, and they are worth quite a bit. So you have two places you can sell it. Let's land and I'll show you. You see, it even tells you. Scrap dealers, guild envoys. They offer different rewards. So if we go to the guild envoy, which is over here, I'm not going to do that this time around, and I'll show you why. They will give you a reputation increase. 
the crew manifest gets you like one or two, but the captain's log will always get you significantly more, usually about uh, six, I think, a plus six to your reputation with the race in this area. Um, but the only time I do that is when I'm starting to go for specific reasons of trying to upgrade my status with a particular race. For now, we're going to go here. You'll notice in my inventory that we have the... Back over here. 648 tainted, tainted metal. Okay. But if we sell those things to this guy, he'll even, he can even sniff it out. And he'll ask you, do you want to sell that? Yes, I do. What do we get for it? Respectable 200 tainted metal. Let's sell the other one. Captain's record. We got 500 more. So now we're up to, looks to me like 1148 tainted metal. So that's pretty good stuff, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we can't sell any of the stuff in our inventory to him. We can get another coordinate, but let's purchase old scrap. Let's go ahead and get it. Now the things you, of course, that are valuable, you can get the repair kits if you want, but we've already got them, so there's no reason to get any more. Gather up these guys. So I... Uh, I wouldn't go for the goods, but the tech and the arms are always worth getting first. And then as you have enough, you can get these. I can only get two of them. We only have 12 tainted metal left. And what do you get out of that? Let's take a look. We're getting... Looks like a suspicious mining beam module. That might come in handy rather than selling it. Um, projectile ammunition I'm going to put down here where the rest of my ammunition is. I thought we had a lot more. Anyway, a cargo bulkhead we'll hang on to. Looks like we got a photon cannon, uh, which we're not using on our ship, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. And we get this. We got a geode. That'll open something up. It'll tell us in a minute. We got teleport coordinates worth 50,000. So these are all worth some serious good amounts of cash, all these things. And I'm going to go ahead and sell them. Uh, what do we get? Teleport coordinator, geode. Doesn't look like we really got anything else. We got some ferrite dust out of the geode. No big deal. All right. So not too much out of that this time. Let's sell off the upgrades that we don't need. Purchase. Go to sell. We're gonna keep the mining beam. I'm gonna get rid of the movement starship, uh, the hyperdrive. Uh, photon cannon we don't need, and we don't need that photon cannon. But the suspicious mining beam, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to try putting that in my multi-tool. Let me just take a look. Uh, we got room. Really like to find some upgrades for it one of these days. So let's go ahead and add it in. Oh, we got too many upgrades. What do we get out of it? Plus 42% heat dispersion. Really not worth it. Really not worth it. I mean, that's worth a lot more. And that's worth a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and uninstall it. And it's going to get us some some items out of it. No big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and, speaking of, let's go ahead and sell the items we've got. Uh, rather than going to the other side and selling at that trade terminal, we'll do it in here. Hey, let's grab some nanites while we're here. Sell this stuff off. So the Hadal pores, go ahead and get rid of them. Gecknip, larval pores. I'm not going to sell that, even though it's worth quite a bit. Magno gold, uh, the descented bottles. Look, we even get a plus 61% on the charge on that one. Storm crystals, pretty good demand, not bad. 841. The neural ducks are selling plus 18, so we're getting two million for those. So you see how lucrative this could be by getting to getting into these uh, places. You could sell your repair kits if you want. I'm going to hang on to them this time. I think personally. Hydraulic wiring we don't want. Well, we could really use some chromatic metal. Oh, here's the rest. Okay, bar barrel precious coins, not bad. 619. Gek relics. Uh, leaves. Okay, good. We won't sell this. It's just not worth it. Teleport coordinates, not worth much, but we'll go ahead and get rid of it. Not a guy. Looks like we sold everything. So, not bad. And always scroll through real slowly. Just make sure you didn't miss something. Sometimes stuff moves around. Uh, while we're at it, Starship Inventory, is there anything we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of the Living Pearl. Let's see, the Ion Capacitors, that's right. I think, yeah, that should be it. 
All right. So we made quite a bit. I mean, we had about what uh, we after the purchase of it, we had about thirty-one million. We got more than the five million back, so that's not bad. That's not bad. We got some good money back. Oh, but you're wondering to yourself, what happened to that unit when we put it in the inventory? Well, let's find out. Remember, we have we put it into our personal refiner. Well, it still says it's active. Now, what would have happened if it was in your regular inventory? It would have vanished when you were done. So we're going to put it here. You see, it's still active, right? still active. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and move out. Oh, before we do, remember that uh, Atlas Pass? Hmm. It says we need a V3 to get into there. And now we can get in. You see, it looks like somebody's experimenting on what looks like a Sentinel at one point. And, but what else we had in here? Besides a chair that I could spin around. We've always got things we can search through. See? So always take a look around, get some credits, sometimes there's things laying around, go ahead and pick them up, but eh, there wasn't much here, and there's no extra doors to go through, but every now and then you run into other areas that are really value, got really valuable materials in it, so it's worth it. Alright, I think we did enough moving around, let's take another look in the inventory. Hey, our emergency signal scanner is no longer active. Well, what happened? So now you know that glitch. You put it into your personal refiner while you're checking it out, and you don't pick it out until you're all done. You can keep that emergency personal scanner, and you can do that whole thing again. So looks like we did pretty good on this run. Um, that was a very tame ship. There were no uh, alien creatures to fight and no fighting really to do. Um... It was basically just some green blobs floating around. That's all we had. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my settlement. And what we may do here is... Let me get, get there real quick. Uh, settlement. Sorry, a little bit of coughing fit there. So what we're going to do there is we're just going to check things out. We are nowhere near the two-hour mark in regards to having that extra facility built. Um, it's just taken a while to get it all taken care of. Um, so I'm not going to bother with it. It will give, be built. It will add probably some extra people to the village. It will likely add a little bit of extra income. But basically it just takes some time to go ahead and build up everything in your village to make it a viable commodity that it will continue to grow. Um, before you know it, it will be making money rather than losing money. Now this one, like I said, is a, check the status, it is a C-class settlement. If you do your research, you don't have to accept a settlement when you first land there. You can go and look for another settlement that is a higher state and try to increase it. But this one is just in bad shape, and it's going to take a long time before we actually make anything out of it. So let's resolve the citizen dispute real quick. Um, see, it's the same kind of thing. you got two people claiming to be a true owner of something, and it shows signs of tampering as a fact in a hurry. So this guy on the right is accusing the guy on the left. If we take the guy on the left, we're going to get an unknown outcome. If we take the guy on the right, nothing will happen. So let me show you what happens here. We're going to choose the guy on the left and watch what happens. Okay, zip, zip, watch. Settlement warning, atmosphere of suspicion. So now if we check out the settlement status, we have an atmosphere of suspicion at the bottom right. It has taken the place of one of the good things that we had here. So we've literally caused more problems for our village, and the happiness will end up dropping. So, not really worth it, was it? It's just something to remember. And if we check it out real quick, there should be nothing else going on. No pending decisions. So, that, as they say, in a nutshell, is that. Uh, we can continue on with this. And we are likely going to have a little bit more to take care of in regards to some of the more buildings that need to be built. And... 
me see. I think the building that we're building is over by our ship, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the problem. You have to find the building that you were building. Ah, here it is. Look for the walls like this there. Building walls. Let's go over here to the terminal. And you can see it's still working on it. So it should have about an hour to go. Yeah, 48 minutes. So it's going to take some time before this is completed. Um, what I might do is we may do a wrap-up episode. We're going to do one more episode after this. I think our regular playthrough is pretty much complete at this point, folks. I don't think there's really anything more to show you in regards to playing No Man's Sky. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Like I said, we'll do one more quick episode probably at the... Uh, We'll release it shortly after this one, like the next day or the day after, just to get it knocked out. And then uh, it'll just be a wrap-up of here's what happened in the settlement, and I'll kind of piece together every building that we build within the settlement to see to show you what happens. And then after we're done with that, we wrap it all up. Our next playthrough is likely going to be a um, hardcore playthrough. So we're going to go with limited uh, parts, uh, limited inventory, everything will be more expensive or harder to sell, things along those lines. So just keep that in mind that it's just makes it more difficult to play. Looks like we got daytime coming over us. That's great. So, so we're going to go ahead and call this one. I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. You know I always get back to you all in a pretty timely fashion. And uh, again, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Hey, I'm always going to be doing No Man's Sky content, so go ahead and leave it. Go ahead and subscribe when you can, please. And thank you so much for everybody. As of this particular moment when I recorded this, this is on the uh, 10th of February when I recorded this. So as of this point, we've already passed the 300 mark of subscribers. Really appreciate it. I did send out that nice uh, anniversary, if you will, video or celebration video for 300 subscribers. Really appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. And thank you for the comments. You guys have been great with the comments. I really love it. We are going to be doing a uh, live playthrough again, and I will try to keep doing those once in a while. But this will probably take place, you'll see this episode probably well after the, the next expedition that has come out. So thank you again for watching, and let's go ahead and give a jaunty little farewell. Goodbye, folks.